I'm Ivy from ETSP from Home Blog. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we have Mr. K. And what we have here is the Gravity Tracks, which is made by Ravensburger and is for eight and above years old. The set we have right here is the starter set, and we are going to show you every single element of it. So after we show you the element, we're going to set up the track and then show you how this thing works. So let's check it out now. So this right here is the instructions, which shows you what the things do and how they're used for. This is the blueprint and it shows you how, um, some set tracks that are already made. This is the base. It is the start of your foundation. You can place any hexagonal tile on it. For this example, I will use this slab. Voila. This is a level. Uh, the set comes with two of these. What I like about it is that it's see-through and you can see your ball maneuver through the course. Like the base, you can use any tile, but for this example, I will use this and clip it on. It should easily slide in, like so. This is a small tile. It requires two of these to make one big tile. This is the launch pad, which is super awesome. When you press the button, it releases the balls from the green chamber. This is essential for every track. This is a curve. This one does 90 degrees and this one does 45. You can twist it in any way to turn it. This is the junction, which allows two balls to pass through it. This is a magnet can, which once a ball hits it, the ball goes flying off. This is the vortex, which essentially slows the balls down and sends them through the gap. This is the two-way junction. If you, you can also add an arrow to it, which allows the ball to be directed. This is the three-way junction, and allows these three balls to be joined into one track. This is the small track, which is which is two of these two of the medium track which is one medium track and one small track this is the finish line and where you can record where the walls finish this is the piece that um, assembles all of these together this is also an end piece when you put it in This is the splatter and once your ball drops, it will fire all three balls in all different directions. This is the catch, which will catch the ball and send it the other way. And last but not least, this is the pusher and allows balls to drop through it. Now, we're going to build the track. The track. As you can see, I've chosen the blueprint and I'm now setting it up. And the, on the blueprint itself, it shows you very clearly uh, how many tracks you need, um, all the stuff that you need, so you can take it all out and then set it up and uh, build it. Uh, it this booklet is very, um, show it very clearly uh, from easy to difficult. So you can either follow the um, booklet to build your own track or you can just freestyle it. So now we're just gonna quickly build it and show you how it does it work. I love this set because uh, it combines the classic marble run with a modern twist. So it's really, really fun, uh, innovative, and uh, modern. It's a very fresh concept, and uh, both of us having fun. Uh, even my uh, younger daughter also loves playing this set. Um, 
and I love that it's made with good quality so that it can last for a long time so I definitely will recommend this um, so what do you think about this set Mr. Pear? I think Gravity Tracks is an outstanding interactive stem track and I also have really fun playing it as it's not the usual toy that people have yeah, pre precisely. And um, it also uh, teach children about the gravity, teaching the, the magnet, isn't it? So there's a lot of uh, learning element in this set. And uh, you also get to build your own, you get to be uh, learn how to be creative. So which is really fun. Uh, so we will definitely give this a thumbs up. up. So if you do have any questions, do pop by my comment page and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.